Our storm coverage continues in Lackawanna County. A tree knocked down some utility lines, also hitting the bumper of a car along Route 307 near Lake Scranton. The stretch of road was closed while crews waited for PPL to clean up the damage. Heavy rains and high winds caused the tree to fall on top of this home along East Pine Street here in Dunmore. This happened just before noon today. Police say the home is vacant. No one was inside when the tree fell. An inspector was called to check the property for safety concerns here in Dunmore. Staying here in Bucktown, a road is back open tonight after debris from a roof flew off a building. Part of the Kingdom of God roof flew into the intersection of East Drinker and Chestnut Streets. That's right below where I'm standing right here. Dunmore police shut down Dunmore Corners for more than an hour while crews worked to clean up the mess. Folks in Northumberland County dealing with flooding issues tonight. Route 61 between Highland Avenue and Sunbury and Green Street in Upper Augusta Township, that's closed. And near Milton, Shakespeare Road between Hobbs Road and Route 45 in East Chillisquaki Township, that had to be closed due to flooding along Chillisquaki Creek. A rock slide in the Poconos closed Route 611 between Stroudsburg and Delaware Water Gap. This large rock fell from a rock wall blocking the northbound lane. PennDOT had to be on the scene until the huge stone could be removed from the road in Monroe County. Now the storm also knocking out power to thousands of people across northeastern and central Pennsylvania. At last check we had more than 9,000 homes and businesses in the dark here in Lackawanna County. Let's take a look at the PPL outage map as it stands. Crews are out right now working to restore power, but PPL estimates some homes and businesses could be in the dark until late Thursday night, all because of the strong winds and the heavy rain that passed through the Keystone State